hello, welcome to the Wilhelmi School of Organ Building. And today is a very special day. Today is September 11th, 2020. 19 years ago, um, we experienced those horrible attacks in New York City, in DC, at the Pentagon, sorry, I think that's Northern Virginia, actually. And of course, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where something much worse was avoided, averted by the courage of the passengers of that Flight 93. So, well, I've got a special affinity to New York City, uh, simply because I uh, had the opportunity to be part of a crew to install two new pipe organs uh, from, uh, built by the company where I learned organ building. Uh, and on my time off over the weekend, I'm, I loved to take a trip down to the World Trade Center, to the Twin Towers, and simply make an elevator ride, take an elevator ride all the way up to the top, and sip a gin and tonic, and simply enjoy the view. And this all changed with those attacks. Yeah. So, but here we are. Yes, and in. Uh, so towards the end of 2001, there was the thought in my uh, mind, because of my private Bible readings circulating around the heavenly Jerusalem in Revelation 21, and in my mind imagining all that color, the transparency, the beauty, the peacefulness, the joyfulness, uh, the worshipfulness of it all, and so beginning of 2002, right in January, I decided let's make some organ pipes out of glass. After all, organ pipes are made out of all kinds of materials. We know that, not? Organ pipes were originally made out of what? Yeah, correct. I can't remember. Hmm. <laughs> no. The actual organ pipes, original ones, people say, were made out of copper. Uh, and then there were organ pipes made out of lead, out of tin, out of tin lead mixture, out of wood, out of porcelain, out of bamboo. Uh, find anything, you know. If you wanted to make a sound, after all, the flute, uh, the flute pipe, or the flute, is uh, one of the simplest and oldest musical instruments, next to the string. Yeah. And so in January 2002, I bought some glass, I got some instructions, basic instructions from a local glass artist, how to assemble things, what do I need, what materials I use, blah blah blah, and we start making organ pipes. This here is the second one that I've ever made, yeah, in February, January, February uh, 2002. And the reason it's all clear, mainly all clear, it's because for the first time we had the opportunity we can make an organ pipe that works, that you can look through. How cool is that? You can look through the language, which usually is lead. Mm. You can look through the mouth. You can look through the foot. You can look through the body. Oh, isn't that cool? Anyway, and then I made, uh, I made, uh, bought all kinds of colored glass, made special uh, 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 little segments and try to array them in a meaningful way on the dining room table and I just couldn't make something that I was really tickled with. And my nine-year-old daughter came along to the dining room table, looked onto the table and said, Hey Daddy, mind if I put something together? And I was really frustrated with myself, but I saw her desire to create something I said, Okay. You lay them out, and whichever way you lay them out, and remember, this is the pattern, this is how we uh, lay those things out. Uh, whichever way you design them, I'm going to put them together. And this is pipe number three, designed by my nine-year-old daughter, Sarah. And I think to this date, it is the most beautiful glass organ pipe that I've ever made. And 19 years later, and we've just completed, today, on September 11th, 2020 we've completed the two glass organ pipes the very first ones world's first ones that will be playing and will be part of an existing pipe organ in a church setting 
And because there's a whole pipe organ behind this one, uh, the, the back sections of this pipe are actually made out of mirror glass. So any, gla any light shining in reflects the light out and makes it sparkle. And today, on this very special day, we have something very special to celebrate. Not only to mourn and to remember, but also to look forward to. There are things to look forward to. And because you most probably wonder, does it actually work? Yes, of course. And let my lovely assistant hold the pipe. This is it. Okay. And it is marked D sharp 0 9 11 2020. And it's also marked, it's signed, and of course, it's also marked in remembrance of a very special church member. And the church is marked on it. And the other pipe is in remembrance of another very special church member. Where these go? Yes, and Lord willing, next week we will install them. Thank you for sharing this wonderful special time with me. And for those of you who are tuning in regarding the actual lessons how to make glass organ pipes, which are based on making those two, thank you so much for being with us during this special time at the Wilhelmi School of Organ Building. And thank you, dog. Ella? Ella? Thank you, dog, for being so patient and quiet while I was doing all this wonderful recording. Out in the shop. <laughs> Thank you for visiting.